there, people. It's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So something that I'm really excited to talk to you about that I just keep thinking about a lot and a lot and a lot and experimenting with a lot more and doing a lot more research into is dry fasting. And I've talked about it a few times on this channel. Recently, I made a video talking about what is dry fasting and how to dry fast. And I'm going to be talking with dry fasting more specifically with intermittent daily dry fasting because I've talked about intermittent fasting a lot on this channel and something that I'm experimenting with a lot at the moment is intermittent dry fasting daily. So I wanted to share with you my excitement and my experience that I have been currently having with doing intermittent dry fasting daily. So this is something that I didn't plan to do. My body just naturally wanted me to start dry fasting and I did it once. And on the first day a few days ago, I intermittent dry fasted from the day before to the next day for around 19 and a half hours. And then the next day I did it for around 17 hours. And yeah. I have been into intermittent fasting for just over two years now and it's gave me amazing benefits mentally and physically, holistically. But recently, I started to notice that I wasn't feeling so great from intermittent fasting with water. My energy levels started to drop, my mind wasn't working as well and I just wasn't feeling as good as I have done from intermittent fasting. And then I felt this natural desire to start abstaining from water. And then I found from the first day of intermittent dry fasting that I started getting all of the benefits that I used to get from intermittent fasting fully, but even way more benefits from all the different benefits that I noticed that I had gotten from intermittent fasting since I embarked on this journey around two years ago. So. The first thing that I noticed within my body around 15 hours into my daily intermittent fast, when comparing it to extended or water fasting, it felt around 15 to 16 hours into my intermittent dry fast that I was about three days into an extended water fast. And I've done water fasting up to six days in the past, way before I even started this YouTube channel. So for me, through that experience and fit into that, I could just feel that I was getting into a way a deeper fasted state and a deeper state of ketosis way, way earlier. So I'm definitely getting way stronger detoxification benefits earlier on into the fast in comparison to when I was doing water fasting combined with daily intermittent fasting. So that is just absolutely amazing and really profound. And it just absolutely blew my mind because I have done some dry fasting here and there, but I've never consciously started going in the direction of doing daily intermittent fasting every single day. I normally do dry fasting for around 12 hours or 10 hours or hardly drink any water throughout the day, but I was never fully, a lot of the time, completely abstaining from water through my whole fasting window with my daily intermittent fast. And I have also noticed that my brain is just well, I always had this super brain that was working really, really well, but now it feels it's just gone to this whole new level. And it's as if I've taken some type of pill that has just activated my mind. There was a film, I can't remember what it's called, where the man took this pill and it just made him into this like superhuman person. So for my cognitive functions, it's improved my memory a lot. Not that I had bad memory before, but as I said, it's gone from here to here and my focus is way way better and I can just do really hard tasks and learn a lot of information for longer periods of time without finding it overwhelming whatsoever so it makes me be able to be a lot more creative and learn a lot more information in a shorter period of time and just able to keep my focus and my alertness is through the roof and just all of my cognitive functions within my mind are just the best that they have ever been and yeah it's not something that hasn't been optimal but yeah, there's always room for improvement. And it feels like someone has given me something that is some um, exogenous thing that has given me all of these benefits and just unlocked all of these different things in my mind. So I'm really excited about that because I'm someone that coaches people on a regular basis. I make YouTube 
videos around a lot of different businesses. So optimizing my cognitive functions is absolutely key for me to maximize my income and my creativity and for me to just create more of what I want in the shortest period of time and for me to just have the best human experience possible. And also I've noticed alongside those benefits under a lot of of stress or what I used to find would be a lot of stress for me doing certain different things that I just don't get really stressed out so I can be doing something that is really 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 intense for an extended period of time and not get overwhelmed or go into some intense stress response which I have had issues with that a lot in the past. So for me I'm just finding it's making my body way way more resilient and as I mentioned in videos before fasting is a form of stress on the body and through that type of stress, unlike chronic stress, say like where you're overworking, overtraining all the time, you're undersleeping, that's really, really bad for you. The stress that you get from intermittent fasting is good because it actually makes your body a lot more resilient. So it's making my body a lot more stronger, which is really, really good because there is a lot of things in my life that can induce stress within me. And stress is something that shortens your lifespan. It causes inflammation. It has a negative effect on your hormone production. So this is something that you want to be making your body as adaptable to stressful things as much as you possibly can. So dry fasting with intermittent fasting combined is really, really helping me with that. And my mood, I just feel like I am sky high on drugs, so to speak, but not in a way where you get some negative effects after you come off of them. I just feel that I am just high on life and I'm just going into a state of being so grateful every single moment of the day. And just feeling so much more appreciative and so much more positive and happy and having way more positive thoughts and it being more effortless to actually feel happy and have positive thoughts and be grateful as well. So it's just making my whole human experience just the best that it can possibly be, which my human experience is always amazing because I do get to live my dream life every single day. But yeah, as I keep saying time and time again, it's just taking it to this all time new high. So it's absolutely amazing. I didn't know these benefits were gonna happen. Certain times in my life, my body wants me to go in certain directions and my intuition guides me and my heart and my body. And I just follow the direction it wants to take me. And time and time again, when I do that, rather than listening to what my head wants me to do, I just discover something that is really amazing for me to do and it just has some positive beneficial effect on me and my whole life and this is one of those things. And something I've noticed as well, my digestion is improved even more. Even though I have really good digestion before, it's got way, way better, which I didn't necessarily know was gonna happen, but that is an amazing benefit. And it's just amazing to not have to think about drinking liquids or food whatsoever with dry fasting. It just gives me even more freedom than I had before because when you're obviously intermittent fasting with water, you still drink water, be abstaining from food, but with dry fasting, you're also abstaining from water as well. So I just find it gives me way more freedom and I don't have to think about getting the type of water that I like to drink because a lot of water is impure out there and I don't have to be concerned at all about having to buy bottled water that's in plastic and then getting those plastic substances in the water and they're going within my body. And a lot of people are very, very unaware of dry fasting. It is not dehydrating you whatsoever because as you get hours and hours and hours into a dry fast, your body goes into ketosis. And then what happens is, I'm gonna explain this in layman's terms. It's very, very simple for people to understand. Basically, your fat is being broken down from your body fat and that has hydrogen within it and then that goes within the blood and binds with oxygen and what does hydrogen and oxygen create h2o so your body is creating its own water and it is the best pure water that you could ever have so i am getting a source of water and that is definitely one of the reasons why i would be feeling way better because i'm getting the best water that my body can be possibly supplied with and that it can absorb so i can feel the best throughout my my day and then a benefit everyone loves is energy levels I find my energy levels are even higher and more consistent throughout the day which is really really good because who doesn't want higher energy levels and I already had good at energy levels before but yeah it's just given me even better energy levels than I had before. And like I said, I started to notice a decline with daily intermittent water fasting. So yeah, 
I wasn't having all of the amazing benefits that I could have before. So it took me back, like I mentioned, to getting all the benefits that I used to with intermittent fasting and then just stacked them all up higher than they were before, which is really, really amazing. So they are all the benefits that I want to talk about. They are the main ones that I think the most important for me to share with you. And what I want to say is when I am then consuming food and liquids and I break my daily intermittent dry fast, I am pretty much only consuming coconut water. And I am on average consuming around five to six or seven coconuts a day which are young Thai coconuts that are the green ones and these are just an amazing liquid source that are full of an abundance of electrolytes and I just feel it's way better water that is provided by nature than all types of spring water or even distilled water, tap water, reverse osmosis water, or alkalized water. It is one of the best sport drinks that you can possibly consume and I know a lot of people don't have access to these. Some countries do import them. I'll put some links down below. You can get them in UK, US and if you're interested in those, they're not the cheapest, but maybe you can afford them, you can try them out. I absolutely love them, the same that I've been drinking for around the last four years, and it is one of the most amazing liquid sources that I believe from my own personal experience and the information I know on this amazing water source. So during that time of where I am consuming liquids, I make sure that I am hydrating myself a lot. And what I'm actually doing at the moment is consuming coconut water, throughout my eating window, you could say, and drinking window. And I have no solid food until dinner time. So I'm pretty much doing one meal a day, but I'm doing it with coconut water, which is a bit different to one meal a day, because one meal a day you don't consume anything that has an abundance of calories in and carbohydrates that breaks you out of a truly fasted state. And the reason why I'm doing that, I just find that it gives me the best energy levels throughout the day, because my body isn't having to digest any type of food throughout the whole day until the end of the day. And the, the digestive process is a high energy expenditure process for the body to do. So it's given me all of this additional energy due to not digesting food throughout the day. And then I am finding when I come to actually drinking water, I appreciate it way, way more. I notice great benefits from it. And then when I eat dinner, I notice that I have better digestion with the food. I appreciate it way more. And I just find that I have really, really high energy levels after eating even an abundance of different food. And if you wanna see some of the foods that I eat, on a regular basis, you could check out my Instagram, which I put a link down below. I do Instagram stories on an almost everyday basis. And I will have some new what I eat in a day videos in case you want to see exactly what I am consuming within a day and what I'm getting up to as well. So I'm going on a traveling trip from today to many different places. And I'm sure you'd like to join me on the journey and see what I'm up to and what I'm eating. So if that interests you, make sure that you do subscribe and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button to be notified of when new videos are uploaded. Because if you don't do that, you will not be notified of when new videos are uploaded. How I'm doing it with the intermittent dry fasting is I will always intermittent dry dry fast around a minimum of 16 hours but if I want to go longer then I will so I'm just going to listen to my body and see how long it wants me to fast for so it's a type of what you could say intuitive intermittent fasting and my body knows best and sometimes our head can get in the way and can just send us in the direction of pushing ourselves to fast longer than is good for us to fast and then you can get some certain negative effects I've done that with so many different things in the past and I just wanna be very more within my body and listen to what my body more wants me to do and then get my head to follow rather than my head dictating to the body what it needs to do, which can just get me into dangerous territory with things. And one last thing I wanna mention is, I have noticed for obvious reasons, which I'm sure you understand, is when I've been consuming my one big cooked meal of all different types of foods, because I eat desserts and savory cooked dishes and other various things all together for my one cooked meal at the end of the day, is the saltier the food is, the more of a desire I feel for water whilst in my fasting window with intermittent dry fasting. But even saying that, what I find is with that, say that I've eaten the meal and it's more salty, yes, I will desire water more and more and more than if I consume something that had less salt in through the evening. But I find if I just push through the evening and just go to bed 
my sleep is absolutely fine, I fall asleep easy, I stay asleep easy, I wake up feeling absolutely amazing, that my desire for water upon awakening in the morning or any source of liquid just vanishes. So I believe once I keep doing this consistently, just when someone gets into intermittent fasting and they're doing it with water rather than dry fasting, you're used to these normal eating patterns of eating three meals a day, normally with snacks in between. So for around two weeks, it can take your body to adjust getting used to that and it starts to change certain hormones within the body such as ghrelin, which can make you feel hungry and it gets used to your new way of eating that you don't feel a desire or hunger for food in the morning after around that two week period. And I do believe that we're gonna see from my own experimentation, I will keep you updated on my own personal journey with intermittent dry fasting, is that I'm noticing a lot of time, I'm desiring water when I don't necessarily feel dehydrated and I want it to cool down my body or I just want something to drink. So over time, I think, that my desire for any sort of liquids whilst in the intermittent dry fasted state will start to vanish. But what I have also experienced before in the past is if I've just consumed loads and loads of fruits and then dry fasted for around 24 hours in the past, which I've done a couple of times, it's really, really easy and I don't get any desire for liquids because obviously the foods that I've consumed at the end of the day when I go into the, the dry fasted state afterwards are very, very hydrating and they're not full of salt, which can make you desire liquids a lot more. So if I wanted to make it easier for myself, I could just consume food that is not as salty and I don't go other ways to try and consume the saltiest food possible. So I will try and be as mindful around this as possible. But yeah, if I want really, really junk food and salty food, then I'll go for it. But I just know that I need to push through and be way more disciplined and just refuse to drink any liquids. As long as I know that is safe for me to not drink any liquids and it's a good thing for me to not drink them whatsoever. And yeah, the way it's just making me feel, I'm like an excited child. I'm just full of beans. <laughs> going back to being my ADHD child self. Um, so yeah, life is good, life is amazing. We're going on this new journey and my lovely girlfriend Nock is coming with me, which we are both very excited about. We are going to Chiang Mai, Thailand today. We're getting some tattoos, we'll show you them soon. We're also going to Bangkok, Thailand, Koh Samui, and then moving to Koh Phangan, Thailand, which is one of the best tropical islands in Thailand. We go there for two to three months, so yeah. If you want to join us on the journey like i said subscribe and yeah that's the end of this video so if you have any questions leave them down below as always i love answering your questions i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think wants to hear about my own personal dry fasting experience and combining it with intermittent fasting and oh if you want to see how much weight that i lost quite some time ago with a 24 hour dry fast where I lost around 10.14 pounds which is around 4.6 kilos of weight. I put a video around now around here somewhere that you can click and you can go and check that out if you want. I'd highly recommend you go and check that out if that interests you. And make sure that you please share this video with anyone that this video is suitable for. Uh, because yeah, many people probably do want to know about this and you probably know some people that are suitable for watching this content and they would appreciate and learn something beneficial from it and maybe pick up on my really, really positive, happy vibes today. And please subscribe, like I said, make sure you click the notification button to receive a lot more videos from me on dry fasting, water fasting, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, what I eat and do in a day videos and weight loss videos and many other videos to teach you very effective information that you can put into your lifestyle on a regular basis to help you gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well like I've managed to and many people that have followed my advice on YouTube and also my coaching clients that I coach and help around the world. And I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.